Hello and welcome to another exclusive Good E-Reader video. This is Nick. And this is Marcus. Today Marcus is going to take you through some of the applications that came preloaded on the device and some of which we had downloaded for the device for the Samsung Galaxy tablet. Samsung's done a really nice thing when they released their Galaxy tab. They have basically not just relied on the Google Android market to provide all their content, but they've actually developed a lot of applications on their own. So when you just buy the device, there's actually about two pages or so of full applications that you can uh, check out. And we're going to go in and dive into some of these applications. Now, a lot of there's about three applications that got a lot of attention uh, when Samsung first debuted the Samsung Galaxy Tab at the IFA conference in Berlin a few months ago. They showed off the Music Hub and the Readers Hub. Now what we're going to do first is check out the Music Hub. You can see here that again some applications with the Galaxy Tab only work in portrait mode and not both of them so we're just going to show you here now this is a music hub of course when you buy music you'll be dealing with a third party called seven digital so in order to uh, buy music you will have to start an account and this is a seven digital account you can actually just sign up on the device itself we're not going to sign up but we're just going to give you an overview of it now when you first load up, this is what you're going to see. You can listen to tracks for free, and you can listen to them for about 30 seconds. You can, of course, buy the you can buy it by the track, or you can buy the entire album. Generally, you're looking at per track about a dollar, a dollar and change or so. And you can either see new releases. So you can press these little expanded icons here. And these are all the new releases. So we'll just click on something randomly. So this is one of the new releases. You can either buy it, listen to it, and so on. Uh, you can either search, and you can search by tracks, albums, and singles, or you can search by artists. Any music that you downloaded or purchased will show up here. And you could customize things to my list, my library, purchase list, and so on. So, of course, again, the Music Hub is great. It's basically Samsung's answer to iTunes in the respects of being able to buy music. We've noticed so far that it is pretty early. There isn't a whole lot of music available here yet. It's basically a lot of recent albums. Hopefully in time we'll see more developed library of music. Now let's check out the Reader's Hub. You can see here that you can both subscribe to newspapers. You can also subscribe to magazines, and you can do books. So let's just start with newspapers. You'll see here that with the newspaper aspect of it, Samsung's really done a global approach. In Australia alone, there's 164 different newspapers that you subscribe to. There's hundreds. So let's take a look. We live in Canada, so we're going to take a look at Canada. You can see here that there's tons. So depending on where you live, sometimes there's many newspapers available in your city. Let's just take a look at maybe one of the ones that we've uh, downloaded in the past. So this is the Globe and Mail Weekend Edition. You can see it loaded up really fast. You can pinch and zoom, read the headlines. Of course, some of it is hypertext, so you can simply just click on uh, the title of the article on the first page and actually go to that. So let's take a look at the ebook aspect of it. Kobo and Samsung work together on this. 
to be able to provide content right out of the box for people. So we're just going to check out the Visiting the Kobo store again. We haven't made an account for this yet, but this is basically what you would see before you made an account. You can do today's top 50 popular categories. You can search by new releases, get everything from James Patterson's new book, Crossfire, to the new Stephen King book. So let's just take a look and just click on something. See now you can buy it for about $14. It gives a synopsis. You can also buy the book. Now in order to obviously buy the book, you have to create a Kobo account. Uh, even to download the free content, you do need the uh, Kobo account in order to do it. Unfortunately, with uh, the Kobo aspect of the Reader's Hub, you actually don't get any free books that comes with it. So in order to view ebooks at all, you need to purchase them from Kobo and start a Kobo account just to download the free books. Now, the last aspect on the Reader's Hub is the magazines. So we're going to take a look at the shop and just give you guys uh, an indication on what type of content you could hit. So we're just going to hit new arrivals. You can see here's a lot of different magazines. Uh, here's a guitar issue. So a free preview of the magazines would have gone a lot further than to just show the picture of the magazine and not really give you too much information about it. Let's uh, click on the Star Wars one. Again, you can only buy this one particular by the issue. Gives you a short synapse on what the magazine's about, but again, no preview. So that's basically the Reader's Hub aspect of the Samsung Galaxy Tab. Let's show off some of the other applications. Of course, it comes with all of the, the Google applications, uh, such as Gmail, the Android Market, uh, instant messaging and so on as well as email that you can do pop3 or imap comes with calendars alarm clocks etc one of the neat aspects is called all share and this will basically allow your samsung galaxy tab to be able to hook up to a particular uh, computer now we basically have the samsung galaxy tab connected to a computer via Wi-Fi and on its own it configured everything we can do everything from look at pictures to listen to audio to video so we're just gonna click on a video that we have here so you can see here that we got some video happening and this is streamed right off of the computer there's nothing actually hosted on the Samsung Galaxy Tab. So of course you do have things like alarm clocks, calendars, web browsers we showed you. You can even uh, use your Samsung Galaxy Tab as a photo frame with its digital frame. You can do GPS with turn by turn options, Google Maps, Latitude and so on. You also have a camera. So you can actually shoot both audio and video with the device and you can actually take pictures so this is the the three megapixel camera if you wanted to take a picture you can simply do it like that so the Samsung Galaxy Tab is rich in user applications and features. The All Share, the Reader's Hub, and the Media Hub are both really good applications that Samsung has developed. As well, if you want to download a lot of applications on your own, you can access the Google Market and download some applications such as Facebook, Twitter, MSN, and a lot of other different applications. So we hope you found this video informative on the Samsung Galaxy Tab. For Good E-Reader, this is Marcus. This is Nick.